Welcome to Wichita's Biz That Is. I'm Tim Witzman, and we welcome you here to KGPT. Today we have one of the most interesting people you will ever meet. It's Harlan Prittle. And uh, one of the things we don't do here is I don't do those boring introductions about people. Instead, we let them talk because they do a much better job of explaining how they got to where they are than I could. And Harlan, it's so good to see you. We were reminiscing uh, 27 years ago. That's we worked right. together. He That's was right. the Secretary of Commerce at the state, and I was uh, President of Kansas Inc. But we'll forget that for a minute. <laughs> That's and right. Take me on the history of Harlan Prittle. Oh, Where'd well, you start out? Well, I started really in, uh, on a farm just uh, about 25 miles northwest of here that my grandfather homesteaded in 1883. I went to a small high school, Haven High School, had mm -hmm. 32 kids in our class. Then I went to Kansas State after that. Played freshman basketball. Wasn't probably good enough to stay on the rest of the time, but I did play freshman basketball and graduated from K-State then in 52. And that was the year, actually, uh, uh, just before that, the Korean War started. So mm -hmm. uh, I was either going to be Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, so I chose the Air Force. I spent 22 years in the Air Force. Uh, Eleven of those happened to be in Washington, D.C., Yes, you, were, you worked in the White House. Well, that's correct. Uh, matter Tell of fact, us a little about that. I was actually coming back from overseas Southeast Asia on a tour there, and uh, there was an opportunity to go to the White House as the deputy director of the White House Communications Agency. That's an agency that was started in, uh, during World War II when we had a worldwide conflict going on, and there was a need for the president to always be informed. So they established a military organization to provide the communications for the president. So I was there for four years. Matter of fact, I was there during some very interesting times. Uh, Watergate and a few other things. So that was uh, an interesting part of my life. But, but you then, were never a plumber? I was never a plumber. Okay. No, Just I uh, happened to know those guys, but uh, <laughs> I was never a plumber. That's right. Uh, but after that, uh, I left the Air Force intentionally at an age 43 because I felt like I'd like to come home and maybe have another career. Mm -hmm. So I came home and uh, spent some years at the Kansas State Fair, had an opportunity to move into the Secretary of Ag job. At that time, Tim, uh, the Board of State Fair Managers was the same people that was the Board of Agriculture. Oh, I so I, I knew that. I knew those folks, and so they asked for me to uh, take the place of a fellow who had some ill health. So I spent four years there, and then I uh, uh, moved over to Secretary of Commerce. And, uh, uh, Governor Brownback happened to take my job in agriculture, and I moved over to commerce. And so I spent uh, four years there, and that's where we crossed paths. Well, I forgot to mention that, yeah, Sam Brownback was the secretary that's of right. We Both of us that's worked right. with him back then. But I really enjoyed the commerce job. Uh, it was, uh, uh, as I told Governor Hayden at the time, you know, uh, Governor, if I ask you to go somewhere, you kind of need to go because you're either going to give money away or cut a ribbon. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it because, but mostly I enjoyed it because I worked with people. Mm -hmm. You work with people and trying to say that if it's going to happen, it's probably going to happen because you, at the local level, are going to make it happen. One, one thing I might mention is that uh, we had much more cooperation with Republicans and Democrats at that time because we had uh, yeah. the Democratic leadership on mm -hmm. Kansas Inc. And I don't recall mm -hmm. anything really ever breaking out between us. That's a great point, Tim, because at that time you could count, <laughs> you know, where the votes were, so to speak. <laughs> but no, you know, that was the way Kansas Inc. was organized with the leadership of both parties, and right. it was really a very congenial group. Yes. And it really was interesting and nice to go to the meeting. And you didn't worry about hidden agendas. You yep. worried about the strategics and the policies that you needed to do in economic development. And everybody was hungry. Uh, We'd had downturns in ag, That's right. in uh, aviation, aviation, oil and oil. gas, and the state was like, what do we do now? That's right. And that's what we were trying to do is put together those first plans. That's right. That's right. But after, after leaving, uh, I, I was fortunate to be Governor Hayden's lieutenant governor candidate in 1990, mm -hmm. but we were unfortunate that we didn't win. <laughs> so, but I came and came back home then to, uh, after a brief stint in uh, Junction City as economic development came back to the farm where I started, and I got very involved with uh, local uh, groups. Uh, at that time, uh, Reno County was looking at, uh, what do we do for the future? we got a four-lane road, and my comment was, well, you know, development's going to happen whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. and you probably need to be a participant, not observer. Right. <laughs> so that's where I became involved in that, and I enjoyed that very much. Um, Explain this coalition, because people are not, even if they hear the title, it isn't going to explain to no, them what, yeah. what it is. 
What we did, and uh, actually we started in 1994, and established a coalition between uh, Reno and Sedgwick County because uh, then Commissioner Tom Winters and then Commissioner Shep, uh, Francis Shep and Hutchinson said, let's get the communities together. So we formed a coalition of the two counties, South Hutch Haven, Mount Hope, and Mays, and discussed the fact that that four-lane corridor is uh, natural for development in the future. Right. And so we developed a plan to do that. That's what the coalition was. And then we tra then we transitioned that into a membership organization of which we now, instead of six, we now have 50 members. Yeah, I'm not sure. Some of the public probably knows this, but in economic development, sort of the first basic unit is a region. That's right. It's not even a city. That's right. And whether people like it or not, which does kind of the center of that region. That's right. But uh, that's the way MSAs are determined by mm -hmm. the percentage of people who... who um, commute mm -hmm. within and some other data. But, That's true. But really, um, and, and it's always been difficult the way we're structured to get people to uh, play nicely together. Well, that's, you know, uh, during the years, and this will be going on the ninth year or eighth, ninth year that we've had, not one time has there been any kind of what I would say tension mm -hmm. because they learn from each other. Even though communities are close together, every community is different. Yep. Every community has its own footprint. Every community has its own personality. But even though they work together, for example, when we started, none of those communities had any real feel for what they need to attract business. So we, we worked together on that. Well, we're going to stop for one minute, take a break, and be back in just a moment with Harlan Priddle on Wichita's Biz That Is.